As a pediatrician, I see every day how childhood conditions like eczema and food allergies can be tough for families. But here's the bigger picture. They're often connected. This connection is called the allergic march. When allergic diseases develop in a certain order over time, it often starts early, sometimes with atopic dermatitis or eczema, then moves to food allergies. Sometimes both show up together. Atopic dermatitis is common. Up to one quarter of kids have it, and they're more likely to get other kinds of allergic diseases. If left unchecked, the immune system keeps shifting. That can lead to allergic rhinitis or allergic conjunctivitis, and even asthma, a serious, sometimes life-threatening condition. For some children, another condition called eosinophilic esophagitis, or EOE, can appear later in the allergic march. So what can parents do? Watch for symptoms and talk with your pediatrician early. For certain conditions, they may refer you to a pediatric specialist. It's important to follow up with them. Managing the first steps of the allergic march can help put your child on a healthy path. Here are some more quick tips. Protect your baby's skin. In children with eczema, using fragrance-free moisturizers daily can help maintain the skin barrier. Use other skin treatments when your doctor recommends them. Introduce allergens early. For at-risk babies, don't wait to introduce foods containing peanuts, eggs, and other common allergens. Make sure to follow the AAP guidelines. For children with allergies, consistent care can reduce the risk of asthma. Your pediatrician can help identify triggers and create a care plan. The best prevention is knowledge. Check out trusted resources like healthychildren.org and follow the AAP for more helpful tips.